using P-Touch Editor to create label designs. Now you can create your label designs and print directly to the printer, or you can save them to the printer and call them up from the printer and print on demand virtually anytime and anywhere that you want to. What I'm gonna show you today is pretty much how to create that label design in P-Touch Editor by using some templates here. The first thing you wanna do when you open up P-Touch Editor is make sure that you have the right printer selected. There are a number of different printers that I'm working with, so I'm gonna create this one specifically for the PTE 550W, because that's the label printer that I have, and I'm gonna create the label design for that. So we'll go ahead, and the first thing we'll work on is some of the templates that are available out here. These templates are editable templates. You can go in and change these templates to basically anything that you want to change them to. If I wanted to change this flammable sign here, we can go ahead and so we can see the whole thing. Kind of shrink it down using the arrow keys over here. Very, very simple to do. Just remove some of that information there. Type in the word danger correctly and we have our danger label. So our danger label, we can go ahead and save that information into my labels or any local drive on your computer, maybe even a network drive, but we can go ahead and change that label, reformat that label any way we want to. Now I'll go into a new label design or if I wanted to change this entrance sign, I wanted to create a label for that. I could select the image button here and get rid of this image here just by deleting that image. We can open it up from file. We could take any one of these that we wanted to put in here we could do a screen capture. We could take it from clip art. We could use some of the symbols. There are a number of different symbols that we can use, bring in here. Once it's in here, of course, you can edit those symbols any way you want to edit that and move that in here. Once your labeled template has been modified, of course, you want to go into File, Save, and Save it to a local drive. For this label, I want to go ahead and drop an image in there, so I'm already set on my image button on the top ribbon here. So I'll just select from file and I'll take one of our logos here. Here's a logo that, that I want to drop into the label. Once the label's in here or once the logo is in here or the image is in here, we can go ahead and resize it any way we want to. To help design this label, I'm just going to go ahead and blow up this label format a little bit here so we can really see what we're doing. Just like using a lot of the other software tools that are available out there. Now if I want to go ahead and put some text in this, I can go ahead and add a text box. I can type in Brother Mobile Solutions. And as I type that in, because my label format is there and it's automatically formats everything for me on this. If I wanted to make the label a little bit bigger, I could go ahead and just simply get my double-headed arrow and drag it out to find the ruler to find the size of the label that I want. So it's really simple, really easy to use. Some of the advanced features in here, we'll go ahead and delete this text box, are adding a spreadsheet to this. Let's say I want to have my information pulled in directly from a spreadsheet. That's what I'll do with this here. So I'm going to go ahead and to import the spreadsheet into the label design itself. What I'll do is I'll select file. I'll move down to the database feature here and I'll connect that label feature. And all I want to do is browse out that file here and you can see all the different spreadsheets that we have. I'll just select on my TZE tapes and select open. You can leave all this here the way it is. Select editing mode, connect as read only. We could change that information. On this one, you cannot change that information. I would just leave it just as it is here, select next, and that'll bring that spreadsheet directly into the label design. Select OK, and now we have our spreadsheet. We can go into this spreadsheet down here and select copy. Once we select copy, we can go up into the label itself and paste that information. When we paste into the label, the software asks if we want to paste as text or if we want to paste as a barcode. And I'm, for this example, I'm just going to go ahead and paste as text. Now we have our text here driven from our spreadsheet. I'm going to go ahead and resize this because there's a lot of space there that, uh, that we're going to be using. But now you can see it's variable data. As we scroll through the different labels, you'll see how it adjusts to the variable data that's in the spreadsheet. So I want the TZE231 to show up, but I also want the size on that. So I'll copy that information in the next cell over for size, and I'll paste that information again as text into the label. I can go ahead and move that information anywhere I want to on the label. 
Uh, if we want to, we can change the size of the font by simply just using the decrease button over here. Adjust that information. Now we'll go ahead and we'll put the color in there. We'll copy the information from the spreadsheet, drop it in there, and hit paste. We'll paste again as text. So we have those pieces of variable information. Now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and I'm just moving this information around to try to keep it, keep it somewhat formatted uh, the way it needs to be. I want to go ahead and add the UPC. So what I'll do is I'll select the UPC from the spreadsheet below. I'll copy that information. I'll go back into the label here and I will select paste. Now I'm going to paste instead of a text, I'm going to paste as a barcode automatically populates as a QR code because that's the last one that I used for this. I want to change it from a QR code to a different barcode. I could certainly do this, but what I want to show is how that variable data changes as you scroll through the label. You can see the QR code is changing, the TZE, everything is changing in the label. And when you save this label design, it's going to save just as that. But to change the QR code or the barcode, I'll simply right click on it, Go down to Properties, select the Protocol tab up top, and we can change it to any one of these barcodes that we possibly want to change it to. I can change it to Code 128, and now I have a Code 128 barcode in here. We can resize this, move it wherever we want to in this label design, move any of the information around that we want to in this design, and our label is done. We can go ahead and add other images, other text, static information, variable data, but you can see how this actually changes. Now that your label design is done, you can go ahead and print this label. You print by hitting File. You can print here. When you go to print, you can print however many copies you want. You can print all the records from 2 all the way down to 16. You can print a current record. This is what we're currently looking at. We could print a record range from 15 or 12 down to 71 or whatever we wanted to do. But this is just an example of what you want to do and kind of how it adds value in your label design. So in a nutshell, that's P-Touch Editor.